I want to know what you think of what you think the length of time should be before you get engaged to someone. Now, don't shoot me, right? I think if a man has not proposed to you after five years, you are not the one. What we say him. Well, sweetie, considering we men would rather avoid crap like this. Maybe it looks crooked to me. Babe, it's not, it's not crooked. It's the, the wall that... That is crooked. That is crooked by like an inch and a half. It's not crooked. Are you sure that it's not crooked? Uh, do you see this bubble? Look, the bubble uh -huh. is in between, perfectly centered between the two lines. Perfectly centered. Maybe the bubble is wrong? Oh my God. Bubble. The bubble is not. The bubble is not wrong. And crap like this. Today it is my husband's funeral, which unfortunately I cannot make because obviously I am busy here in Tunisia. I would have loved to have gone. We were together for 17 years. Unfortunately for me, he did decide to die on the week I had planned to come on holiday. So I did make the decision not to go because you know, I need a holiday at the end of the day. My holiday is way more important than sitting in a church watching people cry. I would love to give him a good send off. So I'm going to get absolutely drunk tonight with my new, with this new guy that I met. And I'm going to raise a glass for you, Jeremy, because you were an amazing husband, very rich. Um, I can't wait to do the will reading when I'm home. I have made sure I'm going to be home in time to do the will reading because I would not miss that for the world. Bruh. The length of time before we propose marriage is never. The motherhood penalty is so much more than just the wage gap. This Look, Paige, I'm gonna tell you what your husband should tell you, but is too scared of divorce to tell you, which is... It's way too early in the morning for me to be dealing with this bullshit, so go feel sorry for yourself somewhere outside my field of view. Dismissed. Person here is dismissed. I'm not a feminist. I can see men and I don't immediately feel threatened. I'm a feminist and self defense instructor, and if a woman feels threatened by a man, there's typically a good reason. Yeah, if you feel threatened by every man you see walking down the street, the reason is probably paranoia. I totally get this question, but one of the single most impactful things I can do as a self defense instructor is educate women on. The reason being is that the most common misconception about women's safety, violence against women, and self-defense is that the person most likely to hurt you will be a stranger. I understand where the statement might come from. I do too, because having looked at your TikTok page which has self-defense in the title, the only self-defense related video I've seen is just you kicking a training dummy. All of your other videos are you complaining about men being dangerous in a subtle hashtag it's all men kind of way. <laughs> What does a movie about DV have to do with teaching women self-defense? The sad, uncomfortable, and terrifying reality is that statistically the person most likely to is not a stranger. It's a husband, a boyfriend, a partner, or an ex. Yeah, and the women you're talking about picked those men to be their boyfriends or husbands. No one put guns to their heads and made them pick those men. If I only taught women in this community how to defend themselves against strangers, I would be doing us all a huge disservice. Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. Sweetie, you know how I know that you have no idea what you're talking about? Because as a martial arts instructor myself, I know something that you as a quote-unquote self-defense instructor apparently don't know, which is if you know how to defend yourself against a stranger, you're gonna know how to defend yourself against people you know, too. Mind blown, I know, but think about it. I've personally been training for over 21 years, mostly to defend against strangers. But if my girlfriend or wife would, let's say, try to hit me with a bat or stab me, 21 years of training doesn't suddenly turn off because my attacker isn't a stranger. And if you're gonna say it's more dangerous because you don't expect your spouse to attack you, sweetie, you don't expect to get sucker punched by a stranger just walking down the street either. Oh, by the way, you know why walking down the street is becoming increasingly dangerous in Western countries, especially for women? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, but back on topic, you see, training for several years with a proper instructor, not a TikTok cringe poster, creates reflexes. Self-defense becomes muscle memory. And you might find yourself, like I did, in a situation where your significant other, in my case, my girlfriend at that time, is playfully trying to choke you without actually applying force, and you instinctually escape the choke without even thinking about it. So, yeah, you're not teaching women self-defense on TikTok, you're just teaching them to be afraid of men. Just like any other woman who bashes men on TikTok, trying to farm outrage clicks from other bitter women. Pathetic. Y'all can be bitter. I'm cool with that, you know? Ain't no fight on my end, baby. See, when you know, let's let the truth reveal who's the strongest and who's the weakest. If women find out who y'all really are at the core and they know what I know and they stop dealing with you, let's see who go crazy first. Let's see who, let's see who destroy the world. Now, y'all can either, y'all can either humble yourself Every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow that the true God is feminine energy. What? The true God is feminine energy. Heresy! PSA from the Imperial Inquisition to all the lovely ladies who would have the heretical audacity to describe your energy as godlike. Listen and understand. There will be no timeline, present or future, in which women stop dealing with men. Case in point. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. I want to be in love. I want to share my life with someone. I want to feel the joys. I want to feel, have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want to make coffee with that person. I want, I want my person. Like, I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. Truly, the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? I don't want, I don't expect a lot. I just want love in my life so bad. I want my life partner. I just... Am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself, like, it's just supposed to be me in it alone? And in case you didn't get the message, check this out. But one of his strengths are when I crumble, he can step in and be that anchor. It's amazing. Because I'm usually just alpha, alpha. Yes. I don't need any help. But actually, I do you need do. help. I do need a partner. And for us strong as I am I was like no I do need I do need if I come downstairs and the kitchen is clean and you've done it all and you've done all the dishes and you've closed all the pantry doors you better be ready to get your d I mean like literally <laughs> that is my love language I don't need a red Ferrari I can buy a red Ferrari just do the dishes I will suck your yeah that's Katy Perry multi-millionaire celebrity singer Katy Perry crying about needing a man and offering DNA drainage services for a man. Ah, just like a woman. You see, for every bitter woman talking crap about men on TikTok, there are several other women ready to betray the sisterhood when Chad comes along. But sweetie, in case you're wondering what's gonna happen if women Quote unquote, stop dealing with men. It's pretty much this. Get out my car. Whatever. Just get out my me, car. Just make sure you give me a confirmation number. What? Where? Ain't no confirmation number. What you mean? Ain't no confirmation number. I can't see the flight. I can't see your flight. Buy your own ticket. You make sure I come out the cheeks. No. Get your bag. I ain't even get your bag. Here, your bag. I came here with get nothing. Are you serious? Cool. Go. I'm dead serious. You want to give me no cheeks? You gotta deal. Nigga, you're lame as f. I'm saying you gotta go. You gotta go. I'm not paying for your ticket. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
On the other hand, if men ever decided to stop dealing with you and cut you off from the services men provide like electricity, running water, and food, you'd be trading box for a loaf of bread and two apples. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sit so.